YouTube and Minna. Yahoo! How's it going everyone? This is I Am Otaku. First and foremost, Happy New Year to you all. Happy 2021. Let's make this an epic year full of adventure, full of laughter and full of joy. Let's keep ourselves positive minded and keep moving forward. I always like to say this in Japanese, so here we go. Minasan, akimashite. Omedetou gozaimasu. Kore kara mo kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. えっと、動画アップするのを頑張りたいと思っているので、応援よろしくお願いします。With that said, guys, today I've got an epic statue to showcase to you guys. I've got myself a... Uh, so here we've got Mayfly's Tifa from Final Fantasy. And so this is a massive statue. I'm not sure if I can fit it all in the camera itself here. But this itself weighs about eight plus kilos and it cost me around roughly 450 US dollars if I'm not wrong I might have to check that once again but nevertheless it's an epic statue I've waited it quite some time now I'm gonna reveal it and you guys probably have already seen a couple of pictures all around the webs as well but uh, perhaps you can guys could have a closer look through video and a little bit of feedback and reviews from my end as well. So do stick around as I unbox it and reveal it right in front of y'all. So I'll catch you in a bit. Let's have a hands-on experience with the base itself. So the base itself is really majestic. It's got this relic kind of feel to it. It's got that nice rusting on the stones and stuff. The designs are all just pretty as all the lines and details have not been missed out on. And the platform here is for the angels we're gonna sit on pond. But generally, I feel like it's a tremendous value that I've gotten from this base alone. And <laughs> although the main star will be Tifa itself, I think we cannot miss out on this base of the statue itself. So here we've got a bit of a crack here and I believe that's where we're going to be placing some flowers and that's probably where the gaps are but it does give a nice touch to it. It's got this nice feel that is kind of like taken up some time. It's aged quite a bit but with the reflection of its nice painting job it definitely gives this epic feel itself. Uh, the base is generally quite heavy so if I do lift it myself, oof, it probably weighs up like probably three to four kilos. Probably how much is that? That's probably like eight plus pounds. And so we've got the Mayfly Studio logo, limited edition, 261 out of 468. It's just about halfway through and I couldn't be happier with this purchase itself. So there we have it for the base. And now I'm gonna place a little bit more stuff on it with the angels and the flowers. Up next, we've got the piece to add on to the base. We've got the angel here. So what's pretty majestic about this is it's pretty symbolic. We've got an angel crossing our hands, across the chest, hoping for the best. I think praying for, you know, the next step of life itself. But nevertheless, let's just fo focus on what the details on the angels itself are. So the, w the wings, the wings can't be missed out. So what I really like about the wings itself is you can see it's aged and there's tattered. So even here on the right side of the wings, you can see there's a bit of cracks here that kind of showcases the aging of the statue itself. So it doesn't mean like it's a new brand piece. It's generally trying to showcase to, to us that this base alone has showcased it going through life itself. And then that's why you get this rustic feel to it. And the feels or texture wise is just it's smooth but a bit rough, rough to the edge so that you can have this kind of like stone like feel to it so i'm definitely pleased to have this right in front of the base so i'm going to attach it right now and let's see how that looks like so after we've added the angel onto the base it looks triumphant it looks majestic but let's not forget these flowers here that i've attached to the base now these are not any ordinary flowers 
these flowers are what I believe to be called yellow flowers or what looks to be Yuri and these flowers are or lily actually sorry and these flowers are quite symbolic as because this in the Final Fantasy 7 remake these are the flowers that Avery grows uh, and in the church and of the gardens and she gives these flowers to Cloud the main, the main character in the game itself because this is a symbolic meaning of reunion and so I believe it's pretty epic in the sense that Mayfly Studios added these flowers and this little plant here growing through the crack of the base to showcase the reunion itself and you know not forgetting the fact that the message it delivers throughout the game itself so I think that's a perfect touch onto the base we've got the surface of the base itself now this is triumphant or oh, once again uh, epic because of the reasoning of the rustic soil dirt like painting they've done with the surface and addition to that is the texture it feels rough and yet smooth at the same time and you can see the aging of it means like it, it shows to show that this base isn't as brand new as it's supposed to be it's supposed to showcase a little bit of the foundation of the church i believe of final fantasy 7 remake and then the, the, the details and the symbol like things and as well as the images in the center of the ring itself now this is where the peg of tifa is going to be on it but nevertheless like we can't leave, let this go amiss and i believe even though tifa is supposed to be in the main highlight of the statue itself the base does steal a little bit of the limelight because of how detailed and high quality and effort that Mayfly Studio has placed onto the foundation of the base itself. So that was it for the showcase. Here we have it, Miss Tifa Lockhart in all her glory. Now Tifa Lockhart is from the Final Fantasy VII itself and she looks beautiful. <laughs> but to get into it in more detail, let me explain why. So Tifa's got a gorgeous like face and I feel like Mayfly Studio did a splendid job of replicating that spot on. Now a lot of y'all might be just saying like no it doesn't look exactly like the game but again it is an artist's perception of how she looks like but in my opinion she looks good and for that reason that's a plus right there. In addition to that let's talk a little bit more on the high quality details that Mayflies have added onto the statue itself. So what I'm saying is in regards to the outfit. Now the outfit is a signature outfit that Tifa normally wears when she goes into combat. As being a close combat fighter, she utilizes more of her fists and her legs and thus she, you can see her getting ready utilizing her gloves. But what I want to highlight in specifically is in regards to the clothes itself. Now. It feels and sort of looks like fabric, like like realistically. Like if you were to touch the gloves itself or even the arms or even the shorts itself, it feels leathery, like almost as if they put proper leather. But obviously they didn't, but that's what how real life like it feels. In addition to that, her top itself, the fabric like white lace. Is it lace? I don't even know what it is, but that top itself does justice on its own including the shorts which again I think that's a little chocobo on the side as well and that's quite cute as a little mascot her accessories are attached on the back and her hair is long and gorgeous but like sliding to the side and I think that's pretty pretty epic in that sense but don't forget in regards to her skin itself what I feel Mayflies has done is pretty interesting because initially when I saw this statue I thought it was damaged and what I mean by that is like I saw blue streaks of lines across her chest across her legs I saw it all over the place and I thought to myself that's that's odd like did they do something wrong with it but in actual fact it's apparently like when your skin is so transparent like you got your blue veins popping out or, or at least like it uh, quite close enough to see see it so in regards to her long legs here and in the chest wise there, there's just a parentness to kind of give it more real human life like appearance and that for that reason that's a plus a plus job for mayfly studios right there in addition to that i sort of want to talk about the shoes 
the shoes now it almost feels like it's an actual shoe on Tifa and what I meant by that is like the boots feels exactly like a leather like boots like material in addition to that the shoelace have been left with significant details and so goes with the socks mayflies didn't neglect the fabrics on the outfit didn't neglect the skin like on Tifa itself and obviously didn't neglect the base so when you pull this all together in one perfect statue I feel like this is sort of what it is so in that regards obviously this is a happy man who's gotten a happy statue and you know and it's again it's a happy new year so this is a plus positive side to 2021 right there there's a plenty more of Tifa statues gonna be coming up so do look forward to that but nevertheless, I think here was my recap, here was my reviews. I hope you guys liked it. Feel free to comment below if you guys liked it or perhaps you didn't like it. Tell me why, what did you expect from it. But I believe there's plenty more Tifas to look in comparison to this. So maybe we can have a side by side perhaps one day. But nevertheless, that was it for my view. This has been I Am Otaku. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Plus, Ultra!